For anyone who was not at Khalees' barbecue, you missed out. The food was amazing. Khalees really surprised me on this tour. You know, we were flying on the plane and she's like, hey, yo, guess what? I cook now, I'm a chef. I was like, what? I knew that Khalees was a foodie, but I had no idea how talented and focused she was with it. It's like, it's beautiful to watch. You know, there's people who can cook and there's people who can just thrill you with food. And that's what she did to all of us. I think music and food are things that humanize us. I feel like, you know, we all know what we're doing. We've all been doing this. There's no ego or like, yeah, we leave that for the stage. This is just like to kind of make it like chill. And it's what I like to do anyway. So I like to cook, I like to share and, and serve and kind of make it like a, it's a love thing. I think it was a chance for all of us artists to bond and to just break bread and have a good time. Everybody felt comfortable. Even like the girls shooting the behind the scenes were like getting tipsy, having a good time and fighting over cornbread. Like, you know what I mean? It was cool, it was a, it was a crazy vibe. It was like a dinner, but it wound up being a backyard barbecue jam session. The rough fans got on the guitar, Sean Paul, his artist, Police came out there and Vogue came out and we were all just singing and vibing. And it was an amazing time of fellowship and good food. I mean, she's an amazing chef. I dabble in the culinary arts because, I, you know, I'm, I'm learning to do that and plus I'm fat, I like to eat. And I can tell you, she's really, really good. Her beet tacos were amazing, like. I think that tuna taco was the best taco I've ever had in my life. My favorite dish was the crab bean pumpkin soup. And I know that sounds crazy, because it was crazy. It was crazy good. It was a grilled lamb chop, which used a coconut sauce on it. There was a salad with a kind of a, of a fruit in a pump. I don't even know the name of, name of the fruit. It's so almost a papaya looking like fruit. That was excellent. But she shredded it and it was in a salad with some big prawns on top. And there was a, a gourd, like a pumpkin with crab legs sticking all out of it. And it's I loved that um, taco with uh, sushi grade tuna. There's some tuna taco. She yo, she crazy. It was nuts. I am the blackest Italian person you'll ever meet in your life. All I eat is Italian food. This woman had me eating cornbread. The cornbread? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> it was crack. It was crack. These nut jobs literally almost tripped me to get. I was like, "You're all insane." I'm like, "Stop it! Slow down." I had two massive plates of that, and I I took one out, and then it just was like gone. It was like. Phew. I really appreciated every dish that I was able to taste, and it was so many beautiful, beautiful flavors. Look, somebody need to give her a TV show. Well, I can't wait for a restaurant. I'm going. She said start something in LA, so I don't know what's going to be called, but big up Kelly, so I'm coming. I'm bringing my belly. <laughs>